In 2006, a macabre unconstitutional forced autopsy was performed on my grandfather, my 92-year-old grandfather. Where our rights were not informed of us. It was a policy that was uh, in denial of our rights. The uh, autopsy was performed uh, uh, for a meager policy based on a meager situation. It had nothing to do with probable cause of any crime. And then my 90-year-old grandmother was interrogated until she cried over the situation. And uh, she was grilled over some minor bruises that any old person would have. And uh, if this happens to my grandmother when she dies, who's now 91, and my eventual death of my father, which hopefully will be many years down the road, this is the promised timeline video that I've already contacted uh, El Paso, Texas Sheriff's Department about to show that we are on record as being aware of our rights, which will solidify us in court if they pull the stunt again. We will not be punished for taking care of our own in a friendly environment. We will not be punished for, for, for refusing to institutionalize our own. And we will stand up for our rights. And this is my face for the record, Mark Alexander. This is also the wishes of my grandmother, Marion Alexander, but she's too old to participate in this in this way. And also my father, Paul Alexander, for the record. Do you also agree to these circumstances, Paul Alexander? Yes, I do. And that's the end of this. This video will only be shown if the Sheriff's Department dares to pull, d deny us our rights and, and use their own, their <clears throat> unconstitutional policies on us under these circumstances again.